One of two things gonna happen. He gonna put his hands on me. 700, get it. Get the 700. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna put my hands on him. But it ain't gonna be easy work, I tell you right now. You sit down and you think about a fighter, you think about how do you know you have a world champion? How do you know you're training a world champion? And I, if I had to put it together, it's, it's three things that you gotta know. Now these three things, you don't want to ask these questions, but they must be asked. One, how's he gonna do when he gets cut? You know, what, what can your fighter get up off the canvas and continue to fight? Um, can your fighter go in the backyard in a very hostile environment and win? Kevin's already done these things. Um, this is just an opportunity for us to show the world what we already know. Been training hard, not just this camp, but my whole career for this moment. Um, it's not the biggest fight in my career, like people are saying. Definitely the biggest platform. And we have the experience and the attitude and the skills and the will to make this happen. So you got what I call part-time pros. You got guys that only train, only dedicate themselves to the sport when they have a date or a fight lined up. And I responded to that by saying, you never hear of part-time lawyers or part-time doctors, so why would I be a part-time professional boxer? All the way around. Yep. Let's start with anyway. This one not out right here, boy. So I train and I stay in the gym all year long. I mean, my second job is teaching classes in a boxing gym. I literally in the gym almost every day of my life. And so I have no choice but to stay in shape, eat right, make good choices, and take my job seriously. Because once again, I'm feeding my family with this. This is what I do better than anything else in the world. Why wouldn't I do it all the time? Strength as a fighter. I believe I'm willing to adapt to what's going on with my opponent. And so we always approach each opponent with a general game plan, but then like the true adjustments happen in the fight. So the fighter likes to go to the right, we'll step to the left. Like throw his jab, we'll counter off his jab. And so it's kind of always go back to making small adjustments as the fight's going on. This fight is gonna look to be simple, but we know the steam is coming out. You know, bring his, his A game, um, which is what we expect. And um, I think there's going to be uh, total domination in this fight. Real quick, talk about being a dad and a husband. That's part of the story a lot of people don't get to hear or see, is that being a father is also a full-time job. And I take that just as I do my professional career. And so when I leave home, those days at the gym when I'm drained and I'm tired, I'm dehydrated, I'm cutting weight. It's not fair for my wife, for my kids to get a 50% dad or 50% husband. So I do what I need to do is, is stop by the store, grab an energy drink, um, pep talking myself and draw if I get in there. Whatever needs to be done, go in there and make sure they get the same energy and the same respect and the same dad and, and husband that they deserve. And so that goes within the whole mark of what Hot Sauce is, is that I'm just, not just a fighter. I'm an educated guy. Um, I can talk and hold a conversation with people. Man, I take care of my family, I take care of my business, and I take care of business in the ring too. What would you say to your fans that are part of this journey, this hot sauce train? What would you say to your fans right now before this fight? Come aboard. There's always room on the hot sauce train. Um, you look, at, look into me, you know I'm a nice guy outside the ring. Uh, I take care of business inside the ring. I'm very approachable. It's kind of like to be what's monikered as the people's champ. I don't want to be the guy where I have 3,000 bodyguards. You can't get to me, you can't talk to me. I like people, I like relating to people, and I like motivating people and talking to people and just hearing their stories. And so um, there's always, always room on a team high sauce track. Last you know, drink we got. I know just the guy too. July 23rd. He's going down.